What's up everybody, my name is Patch and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're playing The Cat Lady. Now, uh, I bought this on Steam, it was uh, on sale for 4 bucks maybe, maybe even cheaper or more expensive. I'm not too sure. I'm no salesman. Actually, I have been, many times. Um, but, uh, no, it seemed pretty creepy, it seemed like a good storyline. Um, so I'm gonna check it out. We're gonna, we're gonna play this together, you and I, as friends, as one. Together. Okay. Let's jump right in. Okay, mouse does not work, I guess. Ah, yeah, so you gotta use your arrow keys for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and check options real quick. Um, we'll keep subtitles on for uh, for you folk watching, and for myself. Sometimes I'm hard of hearing. And, you know, English, of course. Okay, let's do it. New game, yeah. Yeah! Alright, pretty pumped. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. That's depressing. <laughs> Some would say it's a lonely life, and I guess that's true. But I don't like people's company. Not lately, anyway. I only trust my cats these days, and I will miss them dearly, but they will understand, like they always have. Teacup stays with me till the end. He watches me, as if he knew. Teacup. Good name. Because earlier tonight, I swallowed a whole bunch of pills. They're legal, of course. Prescribed by my doctor for my sleeping problems. But I've taken 34 of them. All I could find in the cupboard. And now the room around me spins in a blurry tango as my heart slows down. Any second now, I will be dead. I feel calm. I'm ready for it. This is pretty intense. I've only got one thing to say now. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. And Finn. <laughs> Could you imagine that was a game? Just some depressing short story. <laughs> okay, so that actually uh, was kind of eerie. It was kind of weird. Uh... Chapter 1. I'm excited. I'm actually ready to play this. This could be a good story, I think. Cool. House in the woods. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like houses surrounded by trees and... And that's creepy at night. By Harvester Games. Okay. Interesting. I can't move. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you are. Uh, WASD does work. You don't have to use the uh, the arrow keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and use WASD. That's what I'm used to. This is pretty uh pretty different. The uh, the animation, the actual style of the game. <coughs> okay. Such a beautiful day. Mm, that warm breeze. Actually, it seems more cold. I don't know. That's a cold breeze, you can tell. Yeah. Ugh, I'm getting shivers, you know, just looking at it. Alright. 
Press up to open inter to open interaction menu. Cycle through available options with up and down. Press enter to confirm. Okay. Yeah. Or exit. Let's examine it. I feel strangely drawn to this place. I must find a way to unlock this padlock and get inside. How about you just? Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say how about you just enter, but nah, I got shut down. Just like every girl I encounter. <laughs> I am joking. Yeah, beat up car, that's too bad. And, uh, oh. Ooh, a fancy car. You should fix that one up. Looks pretty fast. It has flames on it. This is, uh. This is. Yeah, this is getting kind of creepy now. It's kind of reminded me of like, I don't know why, but like 28 days later kind of feel. Just like abandoned and... Ugh. Thanks, I, I, I needed that. You had to scare me with, with uh, the name. Ugh, that scared me so much. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, okay. Interact, let's go. Let's examine it first. I can't go any further. This ambulance is blocking access to the tunnel exit. Maybe there's no exit at all. Okay, let's just go inside. Open door. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. Please do. I'm curious myself. Fan fucking tastic. Okay. Well, I can't. Can you open it up? Come on, we're, we're stuck. All right. All right, I guess we gotta, uh... I don't know. Let's see what's up. Whoa. Huh. Okay. What's making that noise? Hello? Who's there? Don't call out. Ugh, that's the worst. Answer that's me. The worst. No! Don't do that! It's me, my cold dead body right in front of my eyes. What is it doing here? Well, that's uh, fucked up. So let's examine it first. I look so calm. Okay. Turn my head. Uh, that's weird. Yeah, it's like you cracked my neck. There you go. One more. You gotta. <laughs> I feel like you got a, you know, a little, little neck spring. One more, make it good. There you go. Feel that crack, and there you go. Morning. <laughs> Every morning I do that. It feels, it feels great. Open eyes. Oh god, that's, that's creepy. My eyes. Just about one thing I liked about myself. They are pretty. I like my eyes. My, my brown, deep eyes. I've always wanted green or something. You know, something special. Something fun. Even now, they still shine a little. That's cool. Open mouth. A key. Is that a key in her mouth? In my mouth? Looks like it. I'll better take it with... I'll better take it? I'd better take it with me. Come on. Come on, fix your grammar. Okay, uh, well... Can I do anything now here? Or? Uh, I guess I can open that, uh... Be that cabin. Can you run, like shift to run or anything? Nope. Yeah. Okay. Double tap? Nope. Okay. I tried. I exhausted my options. Oh, boss time. Boss time! That's creepy. Oh, now you're running. Okay. And, uh, game over. Dead. Hey, there you go. You're alive. You're good. You're kicking. Close call. <laughs> Woo. Oh, so I get it. When you when you have to run, you can run. But otherwise, you're a lazy piece of shit. I really want to use this car. I want to get this guy working. It's colored for, for a reason. I know that. It's colored for a reason. Mark my words. We're going to use that later on. Back outside. Ooh. Ooh, hey, buddy. No! Come back! 
Should I follow you? Okay. I'll, I'll be there in a second. I'll follow you in one moment. Let me just, uh, look, let me use my, oh, there you go. So down in order to use key, use, cool. Okay. It's always creepy, no matter what setting it's in. The whole, yeah, yeah. The hole has been boarded up with these planks. The sign underneath says, emergency power switch, danger. Let's... Before I do anything there. Too long, a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. Would it take another sacrifice to turn it back? Maybe I'm being silly. This is just some old machinery after all. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's switch on. How strange, there doesn't seem to be a single switch or button on this machine. How do you turn it on? Um, I guess we'll go back to this. Let's look through. There's definitely something there. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like a switch. I guess that's how you turn it on, right? I'm not strong enough to pull them off with my bare hands. Come on, lift some weight. Go to the gym. Okay, I guess we're, uh, we're following that, that deer. Wasn't, that wasn't a deer, was it? That was... Okay, you know what? Don't judge me. Alright, I don't know my animals too well. Elk? Was it an, an elk? <laughs> oh, no. You know what? It was a dog. We're gonna call it a dog or a wolf. A wolf. Go follow that wolf. Ah, there it is. That's a deer. Let's go. I uh, forgot to set a timer, so I don't know how long I'm gonna play for. I'll just kind of maybe uh, just go with the flow. Oh, how'd you hey, wait! I want to get closer to the screen too. Hey, come back here. Maybe you lead me to a car that works. No. Okay. No, well, that's on fire. I think. Yep. Okay. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, what's that shiny thing on her neck? Is that a key? <laughs> yes, it is. Let's grab that key. The body is too high. Ugh, you son of a. Don't you go to the gym? Aren't you tall enough? <laughs> Alright, let's. Uh, there you go. There you go. The rope is tied into a knot. For anyone watching, I apologize. I do. I'm gonna examine everything before I use it. I just want to read it all. It will take me hours to undo this knot. So, so start, start doing it. Here we locked, obviously. The door seems to be bolted from the other side. Well, come on, do you start on sign. Okay, so I gotta maybe get like a knife or something. Okay. Interesting. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? <laughs> hey! Hey! Silly crow, you watch yourself. I'll throw a fist at you. I'm liking this game, this is- ooh, wow, okay, that's messed up. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars, right? It's locked. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, backtrack again. Oh, these things are changing up, right? Oh, you fucking hell. I oughta teach you a lesson. Maybe something's in the car. 
Or this crow was gonna get the key for me or something like that. Okay, alright. Yeah, yeah, let's go. You know what's up. No! Other way! No! Damn it! No, come here. Come back. Pattern of some sort. Or... Go, go forward, forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Where? Are you? I don't want to scare you. Where are you? Ah, uh, you're gonna go backwards. I don't know what to do! Damn it! <sighs> Didn't really imagine this game would stump me. I, uh. Damn it. Okay, alright, let's. Maybe I have to press up on the crow as it passes me or something, kind of grab it or something, I don't know. Grab onto its feet and it will carry me up to the key, that makes sense. Up here. Ah, nope. Yeah, I'm stumped, so I got nothing. Interesting. God damn it. Okay. There has to be something around to grab. I'm just gonna spam my up key. In hopes I find something. I feel like the throw is an important part of this whole thing. Obviously, right? Is that an obvious thing? Point me back in this direction. Anything? No, nothing. Wait, maybe it's a pattern. Maybe I'm gonna go back now. I'm gonna go back. Ah! This is different, right? Or am I tripping out? Ah! <laughs> there it is. Yes. I just you know let you guys know I'm pretty smart sometimes. Sometimes I pick up on things that no one else would ever. All right, I feel good now. Okay, I got out of the little puzzle. Now that I know this game has these little, you know, little spins and tricks, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. Yeah. All right, back in the breeze. What? I needed a, uh, a knife or something. I need to cut that rope, get the key, go into the door. You had n Okay, I might as well enter anyway. Just double check. Knife, no weapon, anything? Yeah, okay, so I'm too weak to pull that shit. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm gonna find anything here. Maybe in the pile of rubble. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead so you guys are just back at the cabin or whatever. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I just made the crow scare me again, and I'm walking back. There we go. Okay, I got it. Just so everyone follows. This is after the car part, 
And so you gotta turn around. I was stuck for a good two, three minutes, so we're just gonna, you know, forget that happened. Oh, my, my friend, my dear friend. There's a knife I need, though. Okay. My dear. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Pull out that knife, though. Okay, wow, magic, look at that. I went in a loop. Tricky. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, sorry, knife. My bad, my bad. Knife, bomb, Oops. And my body's gonna fall, that's gonna be weird. Okay. Just sleeping. Empty pockets. Take that key though. Cool. And let's leave. So now I have to go back to that. The uh, weird gate with the uh, animal heads. Not creepy or anything. Oh, the crow's gone though. Hopefully. Come on. Good, yeah, this, this is the spot. I've been here a couple times. Let's do it. No, wait, no, hold up, key. Yeah, use. Yeah, all right. Okay, now it's getting creepy. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day, Lexus. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious, who do you think I am? What do you guys think? Uh... <laughs> Devil, are you God? An old lady who lives in the woods? Definitely not that one. Death. Your voice is kind of effed, so I'm gonna say. Are you death? Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation, too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while, keeping you company always there, you know? Always there. Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps I am life. But then again, does it really matter? What will happen next? What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. It's Don't. getting cold out here. Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, you fucked up!
a lonely seashore. Please don't touch anything, dear. Sorry, sorry. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. Okay, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at her. Let me look you up, up and down real quick, yeah. Uh -huh. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Yeah, after those 37 pills it took, I'm sure it's just a dream. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't really know who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there anyone else here? I want to find out who you are. I still don't really know who you are. I go by many names. You said that. I've never paid much notice to what the living call me. But there is one name the Fallen Ones use when I speak to them. I find it most accurate. The Queen of Maggots. Is that what you are? Why... maggots? Because they feed on what's dead and gone. Dead and gone. I guess that's me. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Oh, well, thank you. Who knows? I could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I am going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. And you will soon forget the sadness that has consumed your heart for years. Yes, hmm, interesting. What do you want me to do? Should I, should I just ask, should I exhaust all the, okay, you know what, I'll just ask this one before I continue further. Is that she, she's not listening. Anyone else Hold here? up, though. Anyone else here? Anyone else gone? <laughs> Ooh, shivering laugh. Why? I thought you liked being alone. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? That's creepy. I brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want. But it's not here. It's gone. And it will never, ever come again. What do you want me to do? Yes. I think it's time to explain. But where are my manners? We're still in the hall. This is not a place for a serious talk. Follow me to the next room. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Don't go deeper into the house. That's a bad idea. What's that sound? It's a weird sound. Come on. Uh, that's a bad idea. Ooh. What's your offer then? What can you fix that life has destroyed? Susan, death can fix nothing. But though we are both dead, I am not death. I might seem just like a strange old woman to you, but I'm just as powerful as God. Yes. And I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I'll need you to go back and face five people. They're not ordinary people. They're very special. Just like you. 
only in a slightly different way. Play the piano. Do it. I'm a failure. Why did you choose me? Those five people, who are they? What makes you think I want to go back? I did kill myself. Um, let's do... Okay, Those five whatever. people. Let's continue the story. Who are they? The <laughs> parasites. That's what I call them. They don't know each other, but their destinies are bound together. You will have to keep your eyes open and be constantly on guard. Those people will want to get closer to you. They might even pretend they are your friends, but don't let that fool you. Okay. They have nothing but cruel intentions. They'll want to hurt you, Susan. They'll want to kill you. As harmless as they might appear, parasites are the evil scum of the earth, and they all deserve to die. Isn't my life bad enough without them? Don't be frightened. You will have a great advantage over them. They don't know that you know. Do you understand <laughs> what it means? I do. You will yes. become my hunter. Yes. Serving punishment for their sins. Ah, cool. I'm like a tool fucking... of destruction. Whatever. A dark angel. There you go. Walking through the river of blood. Yeah, I want you a crossbow. You find your purpose in life, and you see for the first time how satisfying it can be. But how will I recognize them? There isn't a great deal of people in your lonely life, is there, Susan? You will know when you see them. Bring those deceitful bastards in front of me, and we'll Darn. make them regret for everything they've done. Don't yell! What makes you think I want to go back? Are you expecting me to... Are you expecting me to... kill them? No, Susan. I'm expecting you to fight for survival. To do everything you can to defend yourself. I know you're not a murderer. Quite the opposite, actually. You're a good person. But I also know that you don't Thanks. want to suffer. And those people will want to cause you pain. They won't hesitate. In the end, you might have no choice. Think of it as gardening. If there were weeds among the flowers, you'd pull them out, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. You'd get rid of them without thinking twice about it. You're I'm right. I'm not really a gardening type. But I see your point. I'm glad. And remember this. You are not the only victim. If you don't stop them, the killing will continue. Innocent people will die. You have the opportunity to make the difference. And a chance to save yourself. Ooh, good. Ooh, good. There's a lot of talking this. I'm gonna after this uh, conversation, this whole piece right here, this scene rather. I will uh, probably end the video, but jeez, let's do. Um, I'm sure. a failure. Why did you choose me? Aren't you afraid I will let you down? Whatever it is, I have to do. You already know. <laughs> Most days, it's enough of a struggle to crawl out of bed. I don't see the point in anything. I just want to disappear. And I hate everyone else because they know how to be happy. Everywhere I turn, there are people filled with hope and will to live. It's a very depressing story. Jesus people Christ. People so pitiful, they make me ashamed to be alive. I don't want them. There's nobody there for me. I. I'm alone. I just want to vanish. This is the very reason I chose you, Susan Ashworth. I know how you feel. 
Because I felt like this myself for a very long time. You and me are very much alike. If you succeed, you will never feel broken again. What makes you think I want to go back? I finally did it. I killed myself. That's all I ever wanted. And yet, it turns out to be just another failure. I want this suffering to stop. Slabber. Slabber dear, bitch. Dear Susan. What? You don't realize that the suffering never stops, do you? It only gets worse. This place is a passage between the world of the living and the world of the dead. You enter one of these corridors and you never come back. But you don't cease to exist. You remain. I can't do this. It's too much. Dealing with criminals is a job for the police, not someone like me. Indeed, you are weak. That's why I have prepared a special gift Ooh. for you. Okay. Cake, pie. Immortality. Animals. Oh yeah, I'll take that over cake any day. You cannot die, Susan. You will always return to life no matter what happens to you. What? This is the last thing I wanted. Please, can't you just let me die? I've made the decision. As long as they are alive, you cannot die. It's blackmail. You can't do that. I'm doing it for your own good. Anyway, you are in no position to bargain with me. You will either go and do what you have to do, or suffer for eternity. Forever unable to find your peace. That's some tough love. This all must be just a weird dream. I don't believe you. Susan, see this door here? Yeah, barely. It's dark. Dark and creepy. Uh, don't do it. Whoa, okay. Your face is one black. Let's go inside. Are you peering in or... Yeah, that's a glitch. I want to show you something that will help you make up your mind. Follow me. Okay. I'm gonna stop it right here. I have no idea. Let me check my watch real quick. <laughs> yeah, I no idea how long I was filming, so, um, filming for. So I'm gonna cut it. Um, thanks for watching, uh, pretty interesting so far, kind of eerie, creepy, um, a lot of talking, but, uh, that's, that's the game, it's a, it's a story, right? So I'm enjoying this so far, uh, part two will definitely come out either today, uh, following this one, or tomorrow. I'm gonna do it, this is, uh, very enjoyable, I hope you guys liked it, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, do what you gotta do, be my friend, I will be your friends, I will see you next time, Bye bye